everybody. Welcome back. I've got a journal finally to share with you guys. Um, sorry I was away uh, last week. Uh, we had something come up, so I'm a little bit behind on things. But this is my design team project for Seneca Pond Crafts on Etsy. Um, Eileen's shop has got a couple of kits that I've got in this journal. Um, the majority of it is the Gardener's Cottage Journal Kit. Beautiful kit, large. Um, there's lots of elements to this. Um, and then I've got a few um, pieces of ephemera from the pieces of past because I had recently used that kit. So um, those, you know, it's just a combination of both of those uh, kits within this. But most of it is the Gardener's Cottage Journal Kit and it is gorgeous. So, uh, sorry about the noise in the background, guys. I'm trying to get some print printing done at the same time, so I do apologize for that. Um, the inspiration behind this is from Wendy's Journal Adventure. It's, um, it's been a while since I've done a ring-bound journal. Um, gosh, when I first started, I, um, I did a couple of these, but it has been a while, and it was just nice to actually just follow somebody else's uh, recipe uh, and formula. So thank you, Wendy, so much for that. I will put Wendy's um, link below, and you can check her channel out. I'm sure all of you already know Wendy. She's very, very um, talented um, artist on, on here on YouTube. So let's just get started. Uh, as I said, um, I've aged my book rings. That was the first step. Um, is getting these aged so that they um, aren't the shiny chrome. And then, like I said, I f the front and back cover are chipboard, so they're very uh, durable. I've used some eyelets on this. In fact, every page has got eyelets. So this journal, um, the ring bound are a little bit more difficult to um, flip through, but um, the great thing about it is you can move the pages around if you want to. So let's just look at the front and what's involved. I've got some vintage, um, this is a bit of a doily, same with this, um, and then I did an embossed bit of cardstock in the back. This is one of the images from the gardening kit, and then this is one of the little definitions that I've just cut out and put inside a little metal book plate. This is a Tim Holtz um, hitch post, and then I've just made this, um, this is some stitched muslin as the closure. So that just flips over, and then that's secured on the back cover, so it's not going to go anywhere. If the journal expands anymore, you've got the slack that you can um, adjust that as needed. Um, it's a very full journal. I towards the end had to just stop adding because it was getting so big. Um, okay, so here I've got another piece of uh, vintage lace that I've made, I've created a little pocket from. And this is another card uh, from Seneca Pond, but this is a different kit. Um, and I've just tucked that in there. There's bits and pieces of ephemera that are from my stash. Um, I probably won't point those out because the main focus is the gardening uh, kit because it's a beautiful kit. It's got lots of colors. Um, it's got pinks and then I think it's almost like a mint green. It's just beautiful. Um, so here on the, the very first one is a glassine uh, pocket page and within that um, these little houses um, they're like little garden sheds come in the kit. They are just gorgeous. So I just created a couple of large journaling um, cards and I've done some s stitching around this. So you can see from this the colors that are involved. You got some like really pale um, yellow. It's kind of a goldy yellow and then the mint green kind of turquoise. Uh, very soft. Just very, very pretty. I've used various pieces of um, scrapbooking paper, um, 
that I thought coordinated nice and went along with the garden theme because this one is named the garden. Um, and so over here I've done an embossed pocket with a bit of the little pom-pom trim. And then um, here's another of the little, I call them like the little garden shed journal cards and I love those. Um, and then just various pieces of ephemera. Um, now these large mason jars, these are in uh, Seneca Pond shop as well. So if you're interested in those, those are absolutely gorgeous and they coordinate beautifully with this. So those are in um, Eileen's shop as well. I love this little garden shed. Uh, here's a CD case that I've altered and inside this I've just tucked away another journal card. And then you can see on the front I've done some collaging with um, various some scrapbooking paper and then just some little collage paper. I took take an old book page and then it just added a couple little rosettes to it to finish it off. As I said, every page is reinforced with um, additional strip of scrapbook paper and the eyelets. So it's it it should last quite a while this journal. Um, and if you're, you know, there's really no reason if you're careful with it. it they are a little bit harder to flip through, as I said, but um, I love the look of them. And then this is one of the um, elements from the kit. Um, these are some little um, seed-type stakes, and I'll show you one. I cut this one down just to make a little tuck sp space on the back of that. Uh, I've got some little um, bronze... Um, clips here that hold this shut. Here I've created another journal card that's been backed with some tea dyed paper. Um, these little collaged uh, floral tags are in Santa Capone's shop as well. I'll put the link below to these. These are absolutely gorgeous. I use these all the time in um, other projects as well. So what this journal has is three separate um, little mini journals for you to write in. Um, here I've created a pocket. I'll take one of these journal cards. And uh, so you've got a place here you can add some things. And then, as I said, this is, they're just small little um, writing places for you. I've put, a, in each of them, I've put one book page, but the rest of it I've kept um, so that you can do journaling because it needed journal space. And then here I've done an altered um, paper clip with um, these little banners come in the kit and this little journal card. Isn't that sweet? I love that. So I've just tucked that or clipped that into here. So that's the little um, journal. And then on this one, this is one of the elements from the kit. Um, I normally would have these free floating, but I thought this was sweet to have on the back here. So I've just adhered this down to the back of the journal. And then inside you've got this beautiful, it's almost like a bookmark, and you could do some um, journaling on the back of that, and it's just kept secret within the little pocket. So you just clip that back. Um, this is some sorry silk with some Irish linen thread on that tag. And then here is another one of the large uh, shed, garden shed uh, journal cards. I love those. A um, couple of things from the kit. This is one of those little envelopes. Just beautiful. I love the colors on this. And then this is, I've just tucked that in behind so you've got a little pocket space there. And this is another of the journal uh, cards from the kit. What a great journal to document <coughs> your garden in. This is what I was talking about with the little um, seed labels, or, you know, plant labels. I love these. So you get a whole sheet of those, um, which is amazing.
um, and this is uh, in Eileen's shop as well, these little um, floral postcards. But I thought it just went beautiful with this. So you've got journaling behind there. And then in here I've just tucked another little tiny journal card. But yeah, I can just imagine this is, to me, it's just the perfect size for um, a season of, you know, your planting and um, documenting everything within the garden. And these um, altered, or, you know, there are file, many file folders she's designed, and they're all, I think you get about six or eight of those, which is really nice. And then I've just added some more little trim here. And then over here we've got, um, this is a coin envelope that I've just reinforced here and then inside I've tucked. This is from the um, Pieces of the Past kit and this is just a great trifold printout and I thought that was really pretty so I had it left over and I've just tucked that inside the coin envelope. So there's more journaling space within that. Added some more of this really old lace that I had in my stash there. And then this page, um, another embossed uh, little pocket. This is one of the pockets from the kit. I've just fussy cut this butterfly and added that. And then this is another one of the little uh, Rolodex cards. I love those. And another of the little uh, plant, uh, what am I trying to say, plant uh, picks or something, I can't, ah, the word's gone now. Um, this is one of my uh, newsprint bags, and I've just added lots of little, um, this is from the kit as well, isn't that pretty? So those have been tucked in that side of the bag. And then it opens up, and you get these clock images. So I've just made those into tuck spots. And again, I believe this one is from the Pieces of the Past kit, but how beautifully that coordinates with the um, Gardener's Cottage Journal kit as well. So I've tucked those in. And then over here, this is another of the little Rolodex. Isn't that beautiful? I love the colors in this kit, um, just really colorful for summer. And then you've got another place here you can add some things. And then on this side I've created a little um, pocket back here with another of the tiny garden shed uh, journal cards. I've stitched the little tab to this one. So you've got another little tuck spot there. I've added some old vintage trim and then one of the elements here. And this is the second um, writing space within the journal. And on the front here I've got some little rosettes, some more sari silk, just various um, journaling cards and tags that I've made. And then you open this up and you've got more writing space. Absolutely love how this has come out. And then in the center of this one I've just added an Edith Holden book page that opens up completely out. Yeah, I think I will be making um, a couple of more of these in the near future because um, now that I've got all my uh, book rings aged. I'm ready to go, so you'll be seeing more of these. This is what I'm talking about. Um, Eileen often has these. It's so, it's just beautiful because it's um, you could use it like a bookmark or a journaling card. But I love that. It's got a beautiful little um, quote about the butterflies, and isn't that beautifully done? So this one's just been tucked in this glassine. Um, bag page there and I did some collaging here and that was an image from an old um, nursery 
uh, children's storybook that I found, and I thought that was sweet with the frog. I thought that was really cute and appropriate for a garden. Um, here we've got some more elements from the kit, and I've just added a, the tab. Did some sewing around that, so you've got journaling space there, and just various things from from my stash. And this is one of the little pockets that you get, and so I've just tucked in another tiny pocket that you can add something, and that's just tucked in there, and that can be moved wherever you would like, like to put it. I'm so sorry about the noise, guys. I should have probably held off on this printing job. Um, another um, pocket here, and then this is just uh, a little pocket I've created out of uh, a couple of vintage printed out um, postcards. And then I made just a tag to go inside there. There's some old trim that it's been sewn to it. And so that just fits inside there. And this is another element from the Pieces of the Past journal kit. I think that looks really nice there. Um, this page is, is up you know, upcycle or recycling an old um, mailer, and it's been tea dyed, and then I created this tag that's been sewn all the way around. I love that image. So you can do some journaling on the back. There's some old vintage trim there, and that tucks in. And then on the back, you've also got another pocket back here that you can add something to. And then on this side, um, I've just created another little uh, pocket within there. And this is from the Pieces of the Past journal kit. But see how they all uh, coordinated really nicely, which was why I thought, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to incorporate those because they, Eileen gives, she's got such big kits that I usually have a few pieces left over um, and so I thought well, that would be a perfect chance to go ahead and use that. Okay, here I've just created another little journal card that's been tucked in. This is from Seneca Pond Crafts. Uh, beautiful. Here's another tuck spot that you can add something to and then we've got another journal space here with lots of little papers. This is an old um, uh, floral book page. So I've tucked that in there. So you've got, um, got that in within it. And this is another pocket or Rolodex card from the kit. And I've used it as a pocket. And then another of Eileen's postcards from her shop. And this is another of the elements from the kit. I love that, the garden shed. Isn't that sweet? Actually, that's what I'm going to call this, the garden shed journal. I love that. This gives you a, a really nice image in your mind. And then another. I love these. These are just adorable. I'm going to try to make up some cards using those. I think those are really sweet to have on the front of a, car, of a greeting card for somebody. And then we're at the back of the, um, the journal here, and there's another, this is from the kit, I love these, great little place to write. So as you can see, even though it's not, um, you know, your typical journal, there is still so much writing space within this, which is amazing because you wouldn't, to look at it, you wouldn't think there's a, much place to, to do documenting, but I think it would definitely get you through, you know, depending on how much you write. If you write every day, I would think at least three to four months, which would be perfect for the summer. And I love this. This was one of the images. I just cut it down to fit this um, large tag. And this is another um, recycled junk mailer. I love using... Um, are you know the things that come through the mail because it's nice to um, to make use of these things so that they're not just ending up in the um, you know the landfill or being recycled. We can recycle them and make something beautiful out of them. The back of the cover I've left this blank just because I think the um, 
the scrapbook paper that I used. It's got a bit of a shine. I don't know if that's going to show on camera, but I didn't want to cover it up. I had covered the front one, so I wanted to leave this. And then it also gave the option if somebody wanted to add another pocket on the back, they could without a problem. But I personally thought it was nice just to leave it as it was. And uh, let me get this situated and there it is so we have named this the garden shed and I'm very happy with that title that's just come to me in this video <laughs> so there it is guys I hope you've enjoyed it I've got a create with me coming up so do stay tuned and I'll see you guys back here very soon take care bye